Right now we're uh, walking towards the, memori the Memorial Garden in Columbine and we just, like this town is just so incredible. Like I just seriously do not understand how, you know, something so tragic could happen here. It's peaceful, it's quiet. It really is a beautiful state, Colorado. But, you know, we're all totally depraved human beings. So, Here's some of the stones that are up here in the Memorial Garden. I really like this one. It says, I no longer take anything for granted. We should all learn a lesson and, you know, just, I mean, it's short, it's simple, and it's true. What's going on everybody? Just got back from uh, Denver, Colorado. Was out there uh, in that town, Little Tid, uh, where the uh, whole Columbine incident happened and uh, really life-changing experience actually. Um, we got to, you know, see the school. It's a really beautiful town out there in uh, Little Tid. I mean, it's surrounded by the Rocky Mountains. It's just, the air is just, it's, it's a beautiful town. There's, it's just greenery. It's Colorado, you know, it's greenery, Colorado. And so, you know, I just kind of wanted to share like a little bit of my experience being there. Uh, you know, I remember seeing the news when I was like 11, 12, 13, something like that. You know, when it all happened, I remember I was just really young. And uh, just hearing about these two teenage kids just, you know, going on a shooting spree and just killing people. And, you know, it's, it scared me to uh, think what we are capable of as, you know, in our human nature and just, you know, sinful discretion. But, yeah, we, uh, we were out there. Got to see the memorial garden for, um, you know, uh, the teacher, Sanders, and just all the other students, Rachel Scott. Um and everyone else you know I'm I'm really bad with names I can't remember them all but those are the two that stick out to me the most you know and uh, there was also that one kid that was killed just because of the color of his skin um, you know which is never uh, never good you know racism is just it's a, I, I just don't understand how how we just we are so hateful as human beings you know uh, but I guess it's just because that's just how we are in our nature. We just we're just hateful. Um, we have to unlearn it. You know, we have to unlearn that that way of thinking because it's racism is what's destroying our us as a country, us as human beings. You know, we're not progressing any further with uh, with that mindset. And so yeah, today, I just wanted to share. You know, just being there it was haunting. You know, just 
thinking of what, remembering what I saw, being in front of the school, remember seeing all the SWAT team pull kids out of the building, uh, seeing SWAT team on the houses, you know, that were in front of the school and, you know, everything like that. And so everything that I've seen from Columbine has just been so bloody and, yeah. But anyways, what it did for me is that it humbled me and it just made me think and be more grateful that, you know, I'm alive. You know, recently we lost my dad this past year and something that I have, that I'm learning is that we're, you know, we were born to die. You know, uh, we're fragile human beings and we shouldn't take things for granted. And so, you know, being out there, it's a really humbling experience and uh, it really changed me a lot. So I'm more grateful to God that I'm alive and that I have my health. And so I just wanted to share that little update. Well, anyway, hope you all are blessed. Have a great day. And uh, more vlogs to come soon. More random goofiness that I always do. I love doing it just for the fun of it. You know. So, anyways. Take care, guys.